Hello everybody, it's Nicola here. Welcome back to Dragon Quest IX Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Here you join me in Doomingdale Forest and we're about to enter our very next dungeon, which is Brigadoom. Very ominous. No, this can't be Brigadoom. I don't understand. How can I have been away so long that it's fallen into such disrepair? And where is my beloved Mona? Princess Mona! Mona! Alright, let's carry on here. We have quite a few new enemies to fight, but um, first things first, we're just going to want to do a little bit of exploring here. We've also got this poison, which we shouldn't run in, but of course I'm showing you it for effect. So, ah! Well, I guess we got our first monster encounter. Oh my gosh, lots of monsters. Okay, hold up here. Let's start with the left, shall we? This is the Blinkster. Wait for these witless wizards to waste their MP on snowy spells, then whack them back. On days off, they don top hats and set out to work on the magic circuit. They're available for birthdays and other bashes. And their enemy on the right side here is the Leery Lout. Mostly found cowering behind cover, even when countering, but interestingly, the originator of the Block and Spiel ability. Their shields are their best buddies, and they spend many a happy hour chatting away to them when not busy battling. That's kind of cute. Anyways, this is actually a bit of a tough group of enemies to be fighting, so let's just start on the left here with the Blinkster. Fortunately, they don't have very much HP, so they're quite easy to take out, but can do a little bit of damage here. Ricky attacking the Leery Light. Something annoying they can do is use their shields to block attacks. So let's hope- Ah, of course I had to jinx it. <laughs> I was about to say, let's hope that doesn't happen to us, and then it immediately happened. Twice, in fact. That's okay, though. Ricky took him out. Good hero pawn. Get him out of experience as well. Alright, well, you know, never mind. It's, it's all okay. <laughs> Alright, let's hurry up this pathway here. You know what? Let's fight this enemy. Let's get them all out of the way early on in the video, shall we? Then we don't have to... Oh my gosh, they're attacking. <laughs> Alright, well let's get this round out of the way first. Fortunately, these guys don't do huge amounts of damage because, well, as their name suggests, they're not exactly physical attackers. These are Heal Slime. Unselfish slimes are always on standby to step in and save others, often summoned by their monster mates for support. They greet friends with their right tentacles, foes with their left, and everyone else with the others. <laughs> I'm not sure what you could be aside from friend or foe, but they have a lot of tentacles. <laughs> Alright, so the thing that's annoying about these guys is if they appear alongside other stronger enemies, they can of course heal them, as their name suggests. But a couple of these, just on their own, shouldn't be too much of a problem here, which is great for us. Perfect, already down. So I am looking to gain a little bit of experience while we're in here. I'd like to be level 10 by the end of the dungeon. So this door is locked from the other side, we'll be able to find this later on. Alright, now that we've just taken care of that interruption we can move along here. Of course there's quite a few enemies in this area that we've seen in the previous zones, like always there's this little bit of overlap. But we only have one more new enemy to find, so not too heavy on the monster bios today. Anyways, there's a blue treasure chest in this tower over here. You kind of have to take a bit of a looping path, try and avoid the poison this time. And then we'll just head back around to the center area here. So this is the ruins of the town by the looks of things. There's a little staircase heading down here. Which is where we can uh, progress onward a little bit more. There's a treasure chest, but the door is locked. So we can find skeletons down here. Can I sneak past this guy? Yes. Not that guy though. Sorry about the little cut there. I think my uh, capture card cut out briefly. But anyways, um, I was heading into here because there's a treasure chest upstairs. 
There's also a barrel which I already broke. It got, um, I think I got a snake skin out of it, which is a somewhat rare crafting material. But if we manage to climb all the way up to the tower here, we can get a trailblazing bandana. Perhaps we should give that to somebody who who wants the trailblazing bandana. It would probably suit me the most. It would lower my magical might a little bit. It would improve Roxy's defense. Maybe we should give it to Ricky. He doesn't have anything on his head. I suppose Roxy doesn't have anything on her head either. Um, I feel like we should probably give this to Roxy. Or sorry, Sakura, just because it'll help her magical mending. So she's gone from a, a hairband to a bandana. What an upgrade. <laughs> Alright, let's head back down the tower. So all I really did, I think um, it cut out just before I went over here. So I opened up uh, this blue treasure chest over here, which wasn't anything particularly exciting. Also over here, there's a couple of um, wardrobes and stuff that you can open. No, 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 no. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. We managed to escape all the way down here. Anyways, there's some more familiar enemies down here such as the skeleton and the drac mage and stuff. There's also this here, which looks quite impressive. There's a nice and black armor carved into the wall. Interesting. All right, so we're just gonna do our best to avoid enemies. <laughs> All right, well, whoopsie daisy. Anyways, let's carry on once again. I could use my holy water so that I'm not spotted by enemies, but there's one more that we haven't seen yet, and he is right here. So let's take a look. Here we have the lunatic. They distract enemies by tickling them with their teeming tentacles, then punish them with a paralyzing ray. Their enormous eyes evolve to allow them to lurk in long grasses, then pounce when prey passes. These guys are a little creepy looking. Also, I should probably heal up my party here because we've had a, a few fights with multiple enemies in actually. They've taken a little bit of damage along the way, so we'll use Sakura, of course, to heal up. Yeah, nice job. So let's finish off this guy. Man, the way they blink is kind of creepy. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the lunatic. So at this point now I could use holy water, but um, for right now let's just open these treasure chests and see how we get on here. So here we have a mini medal. <laughs> and we also have some clogs. So right now, um, well let's see who can wear the clogs first off. So the clogs will increase the evasion chance, so it's probably good to put that on someone like Sakura, just in case she ends up taking a hit. Speaking of Sakura, I'm just gonna heal up the party and use the holy water and I will be right back. Alright, this feels a lot better, now I just need to not run into the enemies. <laughs> if that happens then it's my own fault. So I guess something I could point out right now is if you actually go into the pause menu, enemies will often fly right through you. So you can use that little trick to get through areas like this without any trouble. And that'll be especially useful later on when we get into places that are quite tight and don't have an awful lot of space. Let's see if we get something in this wardrobe. Some plain clothes, not the greatest, but you know. Let's carry on down here. So now we're back on the other side of that room that I was, uh, I went down the stairs before. A little prematurely. So we have a treasure chest here with a bell cap inside and we have a lot of books here. Let's take a quick look. There's a book entitled simply Diary. Nicola takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. An envoy arrived today from a kingdom called Stornway. I hope this is the beginning of a long and prosperous relationship. Interesting. Let's see if there's any more books here. There's a scrap of paper hidden between two books. Nicola takes a closer look. It's a note with a cryptic message. If you ever get lost, just take a look at the map on the top screen. <laughs> Gotta love the fourth wall breaking. Anything else here? There's a book called The Basics of Brigadumian Nuptials. Nicola takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. The main event at a wedding in Brigadoom is the bride and groom's first dance. A polished performance is imperative. 
Wow, no pressure there then, jeez. Alright, let's back up out of this area here. Whoa. Excuse me. Coming through. Alright, let's climb up the staircase over here. Brigadoon Western Tower. Alright. There's a bed floating in poison. <laughs> Don't think it'd be very nice to sleep there. Nothing from the wardrobes, unfortunately. Ooh, a Reserock. That's kind of a, a cool find. Right, so here we are on the upper levels. So we're, we're almost at the end here. There's a few barrels over here. Nothing in them, though. It's a shame. Whoop! Excuse me, Mr. Heel Slime. And we can also head down this staircase. We're now in sort of the main portion. Our holy water is gone. No! So actually, in this big room, we're gonna fight a boss. And I'm not quite ready to fight the boss yet. So we're just gonna take a little detour here. There's a dead end over here. I don't know why they didn't put any items in this corner. That seems like it would be perfect, but hey-ho. So we can uh, just do a little bit more exploring because I'd like to get the party to level 10. So real quick I'm gonna do that, but there's something else we can take a look at if we go down the stairs one more time here. There's a really nice room down here. There's a picture of an ivory skinned princess wearing a beautiful necklace. Interesting. Some silver bracelets, ooh. Nice. And a gold bracer. Wow, there's lots of really cool stuff in here. There's a letter sandwiched between two books. Nicola takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. I am honoured to have a place in your affections, princess, but I must defeat the wicked hag as I have given my oath to do. I can only ask you to be patient, my love. Remember, my heart is always with you. Your loving knight. Aww. That sounds so sweet. Can't open this chest of drawers? Jeez, what a jip. <laughs> it appears to be someone's notebook. Have a look inside. Yes. My beloved right knight, I will go to you in that land far away. I haven't forgotten you, my love. For as long as the blood of Brigadoom lives on, I will not stop looking. I will find you. The pages are bent and the writing faded, so it's impossible to read any further. Well, by the looks of things, this place was destroyed quite a long time ago. Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna get everyone up to level 10, which shouldn't take too much longer. So I'm just gonna fight some enemies above ground, and I will meet you back here when I am level 10. Alright, so I've leveled up the party to level 10. Well, in my case, 11, and healed everyone. So let me just show you my party's equipment very quickly here. I equipped the silver bracelets I found on, um, on Roxy here, that was quite a lucky find. And I think I gave her the hairband as well. And Ricky has the gold bracer as well, just to give him a little bit more defense. So we're all ready to go here and fight the boss of this place. So let us enter the very ominous door. Kya ha ha! Welcome home, my love. I've been looking everywhere for you. You weren't hiding from me, were you, you naughty boy? Morag. Now I understand. Now I remember everything. I left Brigadoom in search of you, so that I could destroy you. Kya ha ha! But it was I who defeated you, and wrapped you in my sweet embrace. And I had you all to myself there for a century or two, in our own private wee world of darkness. You're all mine and didn't forget it. You're my white knight in shining armour. Enough. This is all you're doing. What have you done with her? Where is my Mona? Ha ha, you silly nyah. The earthquake broke the spell I placed on you, but there's nothing can stand in the way of true love. I'll put another spell on you, and we'll all be alone together in darkness again before you know it. Just the two of us. Oh no, White Knight, are you okay? White Knight is writhing in pain as if he's caught in some kind of spell. You... And who might you be, hmm? You're no here to steal my beloved right knight away from me, are you? Ha! Huh. 
Well, you're a fool if you are. Can you no feel the strength of the curse I've put on my poor wee darling? It's pure dead powerful. Denny worry your pretty wee heed if you canny though. You'll find out soon enough for yourself. What? I have the most cruelest, most crippling curses known to mortal, mortal kind. How could they not work? Just what exactly are you? If you were mortal, my curse couldn't have failed. Wait, you're not one of them, are you? Oh, no, we can't be having this. Why couldn't you just leave us in peace, eh? And I'm going to have to make your pretty wee face a whole lot less lovely. All right, let's fight the really horrible Morag. Oh my goodness. Came to bring destruction to Brigadoom, but was rather taken with the White Knight, so sealed herself away with him instead. She chose to bring gloom to Brigadoom for reasons related to the darkest parts of her heart. All right, so she can be a little bit of a tough foe. First off, we're just gonna start with a round of basic attacks. We're probably going to need Sakura to do some healing here. She's actually resistant to ice, so our crack spell won't do very much to her at all. So we're going to have to rely on our physical attacks here and as much comboing as possible. Getting the consecutive hits will really help boost the damage here. So we're just going to very slowly chip away at her health and heal up when we need to. Pretty much the same as our White Knight boss battle. Except, she's a fair bit more difficult. So I think I'm just going to do a, a, a little heal here. Just, just to be on the safe side. I do have some spells of our own. Oh no. <laughs> Sakura isn't affected by your, your wicked ways. Um, yeah, I do have some spells of my own. But again, I think working for the combo hits is definitely the best way to go. Because we are not doing a huge amount of damage to her. I certainly could have powered up, but honestly, I don't think it really makes a huge difference with these early levels. So we're just gonna keep um, keep on going here. So poor Sakura is only doing one damage, our priest, but she's helping get the boost for Ricky, and that's the most important thing here. Roxy, of course, doing very good, consistent damage. She's very strong with her claws. Oh, Sakura! Dang, now she's enraged. Oh no! All right, well, that's her big multi-hit there. She's actually enraged on Roxy, which means that she will only attack Roxy. But that, uh, sorry, Sakura. But what that means is she can still do hits that hit multiple party members, but any single attacks that she does um, will only affect Sakura. Again, we could use things like buff, but I think it's more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. We just need to bear in mind that she's currently enraged on Sakura, which in a way is a good thing because we know exactly who she's going to attack. So it looks like we're going to get a four combo here. So Ricky's going to get double damage. Nice, good job. So Sakura, you should probably heal yourself because she's still going to be enraged. It will let us know when the rage wears off, so no need to worry. Oof. Big hit on Sakura. Ooh. Okay, this is something very cool that's just happened here. This is the first time we're seeing the coup de gras. So the mechanics of this are somewhat complicated, but basically this happens when your party members, well, it's more likely to happen if your party's in danger, they'll get this special ability. And each class has its own uh, special ability that it can use. So for the priest, it's Choir of Angels, heals allies HP and status effects in one fell swoop. So we're going to have this for a few turns. It will turn, the text color will turn orange when it's about to run out. So I'm actually going to hold on to that just for another couple turns until we're more in danger. Also something you can do with the coup de gras is, uh oh, hang on. Ah, good old Sakura. <laughs> 
Um, something else that happens with the coup de gras is multiple party members can have it and you can actually unleash... Well, never mind. <laughs> the coup de gras, you can actually unleash combos with your party members and it's super cool, but I guess we're gonna have to show that another time because Morag is defeated. No, my white knight, our eternal word together, no more. But my love, you must ken that you can't turn back the centuries. Your beloved Mona is no more. <laughs> now you're doomed to walk alone in eternal despair. Princess Mona, it can't be true. With your help, I finally returned to Brigadoom, and yet... The passing of time has destroyed my homeland, and my beloved Mona is no longer here to welcome me. I came home at last, but alas, I was too late. You are not too late. That necklace! Princess Mona, I, I don't... Aren't you? I made you a promise. I swore I'd wait for you, no matter how long it took. My beloved right knight, take my hand and dance with me. The first dance we would have had as man and wife. Princess Mona, you forgive me? Thank you, Princess. I now know that you are not my Mona, but without you, I would have been doomed to wander forever in eternal despair. I knew you were the right knight from the old stories. I just knew it. I knew there was a connection between us the moment you appeared. It's not so unbelievable that you, who inherited the memories of my beloved Mona, would have felt so. So I'm Princess Mona's. Thank you, Nicola. Without you, I would never have uncovered the truth. Now I have no regrets, only gratitude. I know I was supposed to have left it all up to you, but I couldn't help myself and I just had to come along. It's really very odd. When I was dancing with him I heard a voice. A woman's voice. She was saying thank you. Anyway, I must hurry back to the castle and tell everyone the news. Be sure to have your reward ready for you, Nicola. So do stop by the castle as soon as you can. Alright, as soon as we can, let's go right now, shall we? Can't sit on the throne. How disappointing. <laughs> So if we head out here, um, do we need to cast Evac or can we use a Chimera Wing? I always forget. I think we need to do Evac. So let me just do that real quick. Ding! Alright, perfect. So now we can use do, 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 a Chimera Wing and we're going to head straight back to Stormway and pick up our hopefully big reward. We've put in a lot of effort here, so... Let's head in. Oh, it's night time. All right, check that. We'll rest at the inn and then we'll head over to the castle. All right, here we are, a fresh new day. We're well rested after our fight with Morag, which actually went a little bit quicker than I was expecting. <laughs> kind of sad I didn't get to show the coup de gras, but 
We'll have plenty other opportunities, so don't worry about it. Alright, let's go see the king. King Scott, I have returned. Ah, it's you, Nicola. Good to see you, lassie. Simona's told me everything. Sounds like that white knight was having a tough old time of it. I feel a wee bit guilty in hindsight. Still, all's well that ends well. You did a broad job there. I'm impressed, lassie. Aye, and you more than deserve the reward, I promised. I'll have them open up the treasure chamber. You just help yourself. Take it all if you want to. Just climb the stairs behind the throne and go outside. East from there, you'll see the treasure chamber. Crivens, I almost forgot. I've opened up the eastern checkpoint again. It's closed while that skirmish with the night was going on. There's a big town beyond the checkpoint. Could be an interesting place for you to visit on your travels. Aye, well... I hope you have a safe journey. And maybe you'll stop in Stormway again sometime. You'll always be welcome here, Nicola. Aw, thank you. That's very nice. Alright, let's go get some loot. Some sweet loot. So let's head over to this tower. This is actually above the princess's bedroom, I think. Look at this. So we have a couple blue chests that we can return to. Ooh, Sage's Elixir. That's a more powerful magic water, essentially. And as for the red chests, we have 1,000 gold coins. Not too bad. Phial of Agrescence, which will be used in crafting. And the big chest. A gold rosary, which is actually a piece of equipment that's very good for Sakura here. So let me um, real quick just go and show you what that is. So it's an accessory and it increases your magical mending by quite a lot as well as defense. So we definitely want to give that to her. But anyways, we're going to be calling it here. We've, we've done quite a bit today. It was a little bit um, of confusion with the old uh, capture card earlier. So sorry about the cuts if it was jumping around a little bit. But anyways, um, we're done here in Stornway and we're going to be exploring some new areas next time, so look forward to it. Thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you next video.